So, another day, Monday, pero not Monday. Of course, suot ko na naman ang aking isang t-shirt. Very simple and direct. One life, live it right. Isang buhay, mamuhay ng tama. <laughs> Ayun. Kung sa Bisaya pa guys is, isa lang atong kinabuhi, gamito na ito o tama. Kung sa Ilonggo naman, paano ba yan sa Ilonggo? Bao, isa lang gid ning kabuhi. Ta, ah, hindi pagid ta mag hindi ta pagid gamiton sang tarong. Tama <laughs> Goodness. Right. Also, I want to flex my badge or my shirt pin. This is Ubu Muntu or ibig sabihin nito ay humanity exist. Nakuha ko to sa nabili ko ito sa travel namin last year sa Rwanda kasama ang buong pamilya. And it's a very nice gold and black pin. And I like wearing it kasi it reminds me to uh, not be selfish. And of course, kahit sa mga simpleng actions or simpleng bagay lang, makapagpaabot uh, tayo ng, or makapagpa-feel tayo ng humanity exist sa ibang so, tao. Nagkatrabaho kami, these are the things that we are bringing. Joseph, let's show them what we have when we are going to work. Uh, this is a tripod. Yes. And then uh, we have some stamps for Auntie Sarah. And having some steps for Auntie Sarah. The accessories we are going to use okay, when we are filming. Those right. things that we can provide, right? Good. What else? We have water. Uh -huh. down because she has to be taking water all the time because she's always talking. <laughs> yes. And then, and then our bag here with all the gadgets. Yes. The microphones, the Wi-Fi, the power mm. bank, and ETC. Yes, yeah. and everything else. Yes. So now we are ready to work. Yep. Let's go. Work. How do we go to work today? Uh, today we are using a border. Yes. To go for work just uh -huh. because our driver got some problems. Yeah, but soon he'll be back with us. Yes, perfect. Let's go. All right. So, <laughs> ang content namin ngayon ay pupunta kami kay Maring Sara. Tuturuan ko siyang gumawa ng isang Filipino dessert. Pero bago yun, dadaan ako dito sa supermarket para bumili ng ingredients na kakailanganin para hindi na kailangang lumabas ni Maring Sara. So, iwan lang muna namin yung gamit. Ah, so kukuha ako ng ingredients guys kasi minsan akala kasi ng iba yung content creating nagagawa lang lahat ng nakahiga. Hindi ganun, lalong lalo na dito sa Africa na gusto kong ipakita sa inyo talaga yung raw na buhay ng mga tao dito. At minsan ako naman yung nagdadala ng kultura, pagkain at mga nakaugalian ko sa kanila para naman malaman din nila yung ating lahing Pilipino. So ngayon meron akong kukonting ingredients na kakailanganin para sa, sa episode na to. Tara, so, sa gagawin nating recipe, kakailanganin ko ng isang lata ng cream, which is 5,300 Ugandan shillings or around uh, 60 pesos. Kailangan ko din ng uh, eto. Oh no! Alright, so wala pala silang, ano guys, condensed milk. So, ang kukunin ko na lang evaporated milk, bali dalawa nito, para sa gagawin nating uh, recipe ngayon. 5,300 Ugandan shillings or 60 pesos. <laughs> Sarah! No, I was saying, this one is the first t-shirt we've had with Joseph. Okay. But then now we are going to have the second one, but it's on trial. That's why I didn't want to give you. But this one is for you. <laughs> it looks big, but man, it fits. This is the size I'm, I'm wearing. Oh, wow. Yes. I'm one. wearing one in white. Yes. Let me put one on top of my dress. So, nandito kami ngayon kay Maring Sara, guys. Siyempre, grabe naman makatapon si Maring Sara. Para lang kaming nasa ukay-ukay yan. There you go. Aha. So, we have our t-shirts on to remind us that one life, leave it right. right. <laughs> you. So, and I also got you this, by the way. Because I know it's going to fit you. I think this is going to be so pretty on you. I got that one for quite some time. I'm like, I'm going to bring it to you, but I always forget. And I got you this one from the Philippines. It's uh, sleeping clothes. I think we are wearing the same sizes. Oh my God, It's a princess. short and a top. And, and another one. <laughs> I, ha I had been keeping them at home and I always forget to take it every time I come to you. Thank but you I'm so sure much. this one will look so nice Thank on you, you All of them, Princess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Yes. Alright. Nagtataka siguro kayo guys kung, kung ano yung tatrabahuin ko ngayon. Actually, andito ako sa bahay ni Maring Sara. And alam nyo kasi guys, dito sa Uganda, sobrang common ng mga puno ng avocado. 
kada bahay, kada bakuran, hindi mawawala ang avocado at mangga. Pero, limit lang yung kanilang alam na recipe. Sa avocado, ginagamit lang nila itong side dish or appetizer. Other than that, wala na silang alam gawin dito. So, ngayong araw na to, tuturuan ko ang aking Ugandan solid friend na si Maring Sara. Ayan, huwag niyong kalimutan i-follow ang kanyang YouTube channel, Sara Pedun. Kung paano gumawa ng... Siyempre, ang ating pinaka-popular na dessert kahit nung mga bata pa tayo. At ito ay ang avocado ice candy. Ayun. At ngayon nga, galing ako sa loob ng kusina dahil nag-prepare ako ng ingredients. So, sana wag niyong imis ang episode na to sa channel ni Miss Sara Pedun. Kaya tingnan natin anong mangyayari. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so excited. This is like my favorite dress right now. I'm so excited. With princess. Thank you so much. <laughs> Binabantayan namin yung aming ininit na tubig dahil itong process ng aming paggawa ng uh, ice candy ay gagamitan natin ng special na ingredient para mas masarap at mas creamy. So, dito sa Uganda, guys, ito ang ginagamit namin. Sigiri. Ang tawag nito sa mga lokal. Nakalimutan ko kung anong tawag sa atin sa Pilipinas. Pero dahil ang tagal magbukal-bukal, guys, lalagyan ko ng mainit na tubig para mas mabilis. Ayan na si Maring Sara. Nagdala ng... Si Maring Sara ay nagdala ng tawag nito na maliit na saucepan. We can remove this one. Hot? I think this one will work faster. Yes. All right. So that's all we need. Nabili. You know what? I got this from a very nice secondhand store that has very nice dresses. Look at that. Turn around and we see. It really fits you perfectly. And this one's, you know, looks so Africa. What? Same na, same na. Eh, eh. Waka, waka. Eh, eh. Alright guys, natatawa ako kasi itong mga binigay ko kay Maring Sara, matagal ko nang itinago sa kwarto ko para mabigay ko sa kanya. Pero every time nakakalimutan ko at ngayon talagang naalala ko na. So masaya naman ako at nagustuhan niya. At ngayon nga ay ang tagal ko nang nire-request sa kanya na gumawa kami ng ice candy. Dahil number one, miss na miss ko na yung ice candy guys sa Pilipinas. Alam nyo nung umuwi ako nung December, ilang beses akong bumili sa probinsya ng ice candy. Lalong lalo na ng avocado. Kaya ngayon, kita nyo eto, ang laki ng puno ni Maring Sara. At yung puno ni Maring Sara dito ay talagang namumulaklak sa bunga. Last time meron ata akong video kung saan nakakuha ako ng avocado. Pero ngayon, paubos na yung bunga. Pero naku guys, sobra. Are you ready sobra. to learn how to make Filipino ice candy from avocado? I am so ready. Yes. So ready. As eh, no princess, mm. whenever you come, we have lots of avocados Yes. Here, and I don't really know what to do with them. Apart <laughs> from eat, eat, eat. And, <laughs> That's true. Yeah, so, so this is really nice. Yes. Today, I'm going to teach you one way of making a dessert in the Philippines. And this is very popular, not only for adults, but for kids. For any age. And this is a common, you know, like you buy from the streets. Sometimes people put an ice box on their head and they move around with it while shouting, Ice candy! So you, you will sell for us here. <laughs> and you have to shout, Ice candy! <laughs> yes. So are you ready to start? I'm so ready. All right, let's go. Of course, guys, don't miss this episode of Miss Sara learning how to make this avocado ice candy on her YouTube channel, right? Can we? Yes, yes, guys, go check me out. What's the name of your channel? Sara Pedun. Yes, all right. So now here, uh, we have our ingredients ready. We have... Uh, cornstarch. Cornstarch. Cornstarch later we will explain to you why we need cornstarch while making our ice candy of the Philippines. Of course, we have white sugar and we have some uh, cream here. Cream. Oh, sorry. Cream and evaporated milk. And of course, our main ingredient is avocado. Avocado. Look at this. Look at this, you guys, how beautiful the avocado here in Uganda. You see? You see? <laughs> it's very creamy. 
look at the quality of that avocado this is very organic right yeah. and that is yeah. what makes me so proud about uganda how organic the things are here so first thing we're going to do is to put a little bit of water in the cornstarch light and watery okay now we have it we are going to drop our white sugar in our hot water while mixing it okay. Should we do all at once? yes all and then once it's dissolved you can now pour your cornstarch All right, now it's okay. Okay, guys, dahil gusto namin ni Maring Sara ng mas marami pang is she playing? Nang mas marami pang avocado, dadagdagan namin. Dahil mas gusto namin ni Maring Sara ng mas marami pang avocado, we are going to. <laughs> We're adding more. Yes, yeah. that's right. Look at that. Wow! Nakakalaway. O, ba guys? Perfect sa sikat ng araw. And we are going to mash it again. Ayan. Bago natin ihalo all together. So, how do you feel? Learning another another thing. Oh, exciting. Exciting. I, I love cooking and I love trying yes. out new stuff. And I know having kids, yeah. a lot of kids, because si Maring Sara ay nanay ng dalawa, and all the kids, who says no to ice candy or you call ice lolly, right? Yeah, yeah. Nobody. Kahit naman siguro tayo, guys, gustong-gusto nating magkaroon ng lagi tayong merong access sa ice, ice cream, ice lolly, whatever, ice products. Wow, look at that. That and is being new, the kids are going to be really excited to have so some. creamy. Okay. So, ang instruction sa recipe ay dalawang avocado lang, pero I always want to go overboard. I always want to show twice the love. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to use four avocados instead of two. And... <laughs> so, now Sarah is going to mix up all the ingredients together. Ayun, wow, look at that. Mmm, yummy. Wow. Of course, the last and final thing before packing is mixing. It's really hard for us to pack them if they're not totally mixed up. Let me try that. Mmm, not very sweet. I like that. Oops. Oopsie. Mm. Nice. Right? I told you that cream does its magic. Yeah, it does. Like Nestle cream. Baka naman kasi wala kaming Nestle cream dito sa Uganda, continent ng Africa. I hope you will sponsor this video. <laughs> then they will say, but you did not even use our products. Grabe naman kayo kaseryoso, oy! Shadow naman kayong seryoso, hindi yung pwede mag-joke. Ayun, wow, 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 wow. It's like child's play. Yes. So, growing up, my mom will pack a lot of different ice candy, different flavors. We have chocolate, we have um, purple yam, then we do some jackfruit. Fene is a very famous flavor. Of course, mango. Then of uh, uh, there's a lot more fruits, but the very famous one is chocolate, avocado, and uh, mango. 
when it comes to ice cream. We can do oranges, but we use those fake flavoring oranges because orange in the yeah. Philippines is quite expensive. Um, also, I think the after test, like we need to overstay yes. in this process. All right. So, ngayon guys, okay na. Namix na namin ng maayos ni Maring Sara. The last thing that we are going to do before putting it in the freezer is packing them. Yeah. Now, this is where it uh, becomes... Can we make popsicles also? Yeah, well, but I think we can then. do this one. Yeah. So ngayon guys, ito ang sa kanila dito, wala sila nung nakapak na ng na mga plastic para pang ice candy. So sabi ko kay Maring Sara, saan kaya ako makakabili ng ganoon? Nahirapan ako maghanap ng ice candy packaging dito sa Uganda dahil wala silang katulad sa atin na merong mga iba't ibang sizes. Naalala ko nung growing up habang nagbibenta si Mama ng ice candy, pumupunta pa kami ng palengke para bumili ng... Uh, packaging na plastic na para sa ice, para sa ice candy, merong mataba na maiksi, merong mahaba na mapayat. Ano naman iniisip nyo dyan guys? Hindi ito rated PG ha? Alright, so anyway, ito ay ang kanilang plastic dito sa Uganda. It's quite weird guys kasi tingnan nyo naman, nakarolyo siya at wala siyang putol-putol. So isa siyang mahabang plastic. Ang ginagawa daw nila dito, sabi ni Maring Sara, pinuputol nila and sila yung nagsisil sa isang end kapag meron silang pinapak na mga products inside. So, ko kung anong ginagawa ni Maring Sara kapag kaginagamit niya etong rolyo ng plastic packaging na to. Ano siya guys? Buta sa loob. Ayan o. Oh. It really has a space inside. So, all we have to do is seal the other end. Para, like that. So we have to see like this, right? Yes. So ang gagawin natin, isi-seal natin yung magkabila, yung isang dulo. Para hindi lumusot yung ating, lumusot talaga madam. Para hindi lumusot ang... Ice candy. So, growing up, my mom also taught us how to do this. Like that. Wow, nasil na yung dulo. <laughs> and then, so let's try ten first, uh, five, and then we put it in the fridge yep. first. Then the rest can do umpola, umpola. No, this is disturbing you. Guys, it actually worked. Kita ninyo, Sarah, it's working. Yay! We are going to sell ice candy. You have to say ice candy tag singko lang. Okay, you say. Ice candy tag singko lang. Ready, go. Ice candy. Ice candy. Okay. Ice candy tag singko lang. Woo! Tag singko means 500 shillings each. No, it can't be 500. It can't be 500 with milk, with cream, with sugar, with avocado. It should be maybe. We should do 1,000. 1,000 Ugandan shillings or 10 pesos. So how it how this is how it looks. Wow, guys, ang sarap. Is it focused? Look at that. I feel like testing it. Yeah. Bits and pieces of avocado, very creamy and milky. On one pack. Medyo marumi lang. Medyo hindi malinis yung paggagawa ko. Pero yung mama ko before, naaalala ko, sobrang pino niyang gumawa. Walang mga ganito-ganito, guys. Pero, ayan. So, I can't wait to freeze them. And then, Sarah and I can just lay down mm. and forget about our problems in our life while we are eating our ice candy. Right? So, that's the first one. A uh, hundred more to go. A <laughs> hundred more to go. So, si Maring Sara, siya yung nagsisil, guys. This is what you call teamwork. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you call teamwork. Si Maring Sara yung nagsisil ng plastic. Ako naman yung nagpapak. And then, in the profit, we can do 50-50. 50-50 <laughs> for profit. I think siya, guys. Meron na siyang butas. Si Maring Sara nagugupit dahil siya ang aking ano, ka-team up dito sa aming Pangkabuhayan Showcase. Yeah! <laughs> Is that 0.5? Pangkabuhayan showcase. So ngayon, ilalagay ko na dahan-dahan lang nating ipasok para hindi makalat. Ayan. Poop. Wow, look at that. Make sure you focus this goodness. Nice. Alright. Wow. Naglalaway ako guys. So ngayon, isi-seal ko na siya. 
I know this is not going to be the same height, the same length, and the same <laughs> feelings, but <laughs> but what's sure. good is they're going to freeze and we can eat them. Wow, 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 wow. You so know when they are not tightly, ti uh, what? When you don't tie them nicely okay. and tight, it looks so lousy. Yeah, when it comes like out. Like nobody wants to buy it. <laughs> You see? This one will freeze very fast. Yes. So you better put the two in there because I can't do it. <laughs> At least five. <laughs> Alright guys. Oh, patang daming puti-puti ng aking damit. So ngayon, nakagawa na kami ng mga 20 or 30 na avocado ice candy at sobrang saya ko at sobrang successful ng aming ginawa syempre at, naka, at nakaka excite naman talaga knowing na ginawa namin to ni Maring Sara ang aking Ugandan friend syempre at alam nyo guys katulad ng sinabi ko gusto kong yung mga tinuturo ko sa kanila gusto kong something na madala nila kahit na hindi ako kahit na wala ako dito sa Uganda katulad na lamang ng uh, pagbablog kung ano yung gusto kong maging uh, kung ano yung mga tips na pwede kong maibigay sa kanila at syempre yung mga skills ng mga pagluluto, mga dessert, or anything na pwede nilang mapatuloy kahit na hindi ako hindi nila ako kasama. So anyway guys, no si Maring Sara Pedun pala ay nagba-vlog na siya before. She she actually had her own YouTube channel kung saan niya nilalagay yung kanyang daily life as a mom at the same time yung kanyang mga pagtatanim kasi passion niya yung pagtatanim at pag-aalaga ng mga maliliit na hayop katulad ng manok, pato, turkey at saka uh, rabbit at marami pang ibang maliliit na kaya lang niyang alagaan dito sa bahay. Niya. Tapos, um, Lala, hindi niya alam na ako ay vlogger sa Pilipinas. So, ayun, nagpatuloy yung aming friendship. And then, ngayon, mag-iisang taon na yata kaming magkaibigan ni Maring Sara Pedun. Uh, hindi man kami lagi magkasama, pero sa oras ng kagipitan at sa oras na kailangan ko talaga ng makakausap, lagi siyang nandyan. At very low maintenance friend, lagi lang kaming natatawa sa mga konting bagay. And I'm very happy to have uh, someone like her. A uh, solid Ugandan friend of mine in this side of the world. Ayun. Siyempre, kung, kung gusto nyo makita yung mga ganap-ganap sa buhay ni Maring Sara, guys, huwag nyo namang kalimutan mag-like, mag-share, uh, mag-subscribe, at i-press na ang bell button sa kanyang YouTube channel para naman masuportahan din natin ang ating mga kasamahan dito na mababait at supportive sa ating mga Pilipino. Yes, we are now done with work and right now we are going back home. Yeah! To edit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> so, Alright, yeah. so yan lang guys ang aming araw ni Joseph. Is this not your phone? No. no so most of the time kapag katapos na kaming mag-film, pag busog na ang all at nakakain na kami dahil sa pagod, dumidiretso na kaming umuwi. Sa buhay namin ni Joseph at ni Tipo, Timothy, we don't know party. <laughs> For us, we do work and we go home to our families. Bye, Tim! So ngayon guys, magboda-boda kami pa uwi. So let's go! Ito na guys, dumating ako ng bahay at naalala ko wala akong pasalubong kay Chico. Pero mabuti na lang at gumawa kami ng ice candy ni Maring Sara kahapon. Gabi naman yung ice candy mo, madam. Hanggang ano naman yan, hanggang intestine. <laughs> Kita nyo naman guys, lalamunan hanggang sa chan. <laughs> Ang sarap, avocado ice candy, perfect. Para, para lang ako nasa Pilipinas. Ang Chico is here. Hmm. Mm, yummy. Say yummy. Say yummy. Eat. Eat? Yeah. <laughs> Sarap guys. Sobrang creamy. Mm. Sarap. Again, maraming maraming salamat po. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Oh, How does it taste like? Yes, something like milk. Milk, milk and? Potato, sugar, ice. Joseph, you've seen how we made this one. How do you think? Avocado. <laughs> do you like it? Is it nice? Huh? Yeah, it's nice. It's like avocado ice cream. Mm. 